12 News at 10 continues now with our special series we're calling 420, four states to watch in 2020 when it comes to legalized marijuana. Now, all this month, I've been traveling to different states looking to see for myself what some of the biggest takeaways and surprises are that come from legalizing recreational pot and what should Arizona voters know about it before next year's election? Our journey started in Colorado, ground zero for legalized recreational pot in America. That was on New Year's Day of 2014. Now, more than five years later, the Rocky Mountain state has generated more than a billion dollars in cannabis tax revenue. Marijuana was around for decades and decades, and it's still around, it's just that it's now being sold in tightly controlled stores. After seeing legalization here, it started to spread across the country, taking us on a journey to California, the largest recreational marijuana market in the world. This is honestly the way it always should be. With the first cannabis cafe. I'm very grateful to be here. Celebrity investors. We have uh, Miley Cyrus, Chris Rock, Sarah Silverman, just among uh, the, the many. And despite legalization, a booming black market. The tax has really opened the floodgates for the black market to operate. It's not a guy in a corner. It's a, a shop that looks legitimate. However, they are just not operating with the recreational licenses. Many blame California's high taxes on the continued presence of illegal pop-up shops, leading to busts like these. Still, business is booming, and this green gold rush convinced Illinois to grab a piece of the pie. It was signed into law over the summer, and sales begin January 1st. It's a multi-billion dollar industry already. I think the state of Illinois saw that, that our state was missing out uh, on that early rush and wanted to be a part of that new economy. Their law also includes a social equity component, helping expunge records of those caught up in the war on drugs and gives minorities a chance to enter the market. And so folks were being convicted by the droves. Um, and we had a lot of folks incarcerated for not hurting anyone. So I think it is appropriate. Um, and I think that's gonna actually set Illinois apart from any of the other states by recognizing that problem. Uh, and my guess is you'll see a trend in, in other parts of the country too. In fact, Arizona is looking at that same thing. Now, looking ahead to 2020, a handful of other states will likely join Arizona in deciding on whether or not to legalize marijuana. So we've put everything that we've learned so far, good and bad, online for you at 12news.com 420. It's also available on the 12 News app.